Well, now we're going to talk about uh, a new novel that will be hitting your shops uh, tomorrow called Envy. It's about bitching, it's about backbiting, it's about bitter rivalry, and it all takes place on a TV In talk TV show. As if, it would. as if it would. As if it would. As if it would. Miss Colleen Nolan is the author oh. of this to be best selling book. Um, the title Envy gets a mm. good word, isn't it? Envy? It is a very good word. Not quite as bad as jealousy, which is a different thing. Do envy, think? I think, is all right. Yeah. Do you? Well, is that a flattering envy then, do you think? Well, I think we all get envious at times, and it's different to jealousy, isn't it? You can look at someone and go, oh, look at her, she's a great figure, she's young, want her so shoes. envious, I yeah. want her shoes. It's different to out and out jealousy, yes. Yeah, so jealousy is a negative Jealousy is a bit negative, emotion. yes. yes. But it, it, it's all about a, a TV show called Girl Talk, which yes. is a late night uh, all female kind of panel yes. talk show well they're obviously going to be comparisons oh. to lose women and the lead uh, character is Karen King yes who's a kind of former pop star turned TV presenter who I don't know where be, I got Colleen? that idea from Ruth <laughs> in all honesty it took months to get her I well, suppose stick with what you know uh, exactly well the thing is I did base Karen on me because I had to have one character that I could relate to through the whole thing but I have to say I mean, everybody is saying, oh, is it about loose women? It must be. Loose women are actually in the book. They're our biggest rivals. They win all the awards, and we're up against them at every awards we go to. Um, so it, it isn't about loose women. And the thing is, if any, including the loose women, if they recognise themselves in these characters, they need to go to the Priory. Do you know what they say? <laughs> they need counselling. They always say at the end of um, American movies, any, any um, similarity between the persons in this film and any of them is purely coincidental. Yeah. It's purely in your mind. Yes. Talk us through the panel on Girl Talk, and we'll see if there's any... any well, there's Karen King, who I've admitted I did base okay. a lot on me. Um, there's Leslie Gold, who is, um, well, an alcoholic... Well, that could be anybody. That really? <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Do we know that? I think there's one of them that could fit that description. <laughs> um, but she's a lovely, she's a lovely character actually. But she has those issues. And then there's Julia, who is just out and out nasty. Yeah. But actually, the more you read into the book, you will find out the reasons why she is so nasty and bitter and you know out Nastiness for herself. Nastiness, a lot of people, has got to do with insecurity. I find yes. throughout my. And there's career. the ex soap star, of course. Uh, there's the ex soap star, yes, <laughs> Faye, and then there's Cheryl, um, and they're lovely characters. But I didn't quite know what to do with them because I had the real nasty one, I had the alcoholic, and then I had Karen, who was a bit of both. And I thought, I don't know what to do with these two. Um, but you'll have to read to find out what I did with them. Cause it, oh, I can't know, wait. I have, got to, I have to say, I haven't read it. I only got it yesterday, yes. but I can't wait to read well, it. You know, it's, it's but, a great story today. I loved it. You know, you've written your, your autobiography, which was a mm. bestseller. Then you did Mum to Mum, mm. another bestseller. So has this been very different? Because this is fiction, obviously. Totally different. I mean, the autobiography was great, um, and it's very cathartic. And, but it was quite hard then to promote, because you have put your whole life out there. It's also much harder legal wise yes. with an autobiography because be there's so easily. much you can't put in. They kept going, You can't say that about him. And I was like, oh. But with, of course, with fiction, you can just, you know, you can go wherever you want to go. And were you, were you well behaved? Were you disciplined? Did you meet your deadlines? Did you sit and write every day? Where did you write? Because you're so busy. You I am really busy, but the thing is, a lot of the time, because I live in Manchester, so a lot of the time I'm in London. And you know, Lou Simmons finished at half one in the afternoon, so I'm I'm quite Miss Billy No Mates in a hotel most of the day. So that gave me perfect opportunity to write then. Did you do laptop or handwritten? Anything I could get my hands on. You know, the laptop, lots of notes. If I had spare 20 minutes and an idea would come to my head, I'd jot it down. And you wrote it um, all yourself? No I wrote it all myself, but obviously had a lot of help from the publishers who would, because you know, I just write and I'm dead excited, and they send it back and say, well, we think you need to send this character that way and, you know, maybe change that chapter over here. So I had lots of guidance, uh, but it was all my own ideas and, and my words. And, um, Do you wish you'd done it ages ago now? Well, I've kind of been doing it for the last ten years, really, yeah. and um, a lot of the characters came from my time on this show. Yeah. <laughs> Would you believe? Um, <laughs> well, ten years, it's You know, when I got the old... <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then I had loads of time to write. I had two years to write there because I couldn't get arrested. Um, but so I did lots of writing then and, and lots of the characters from them. I think a couple of your producers have gone, that's me, isn't it, in that book? <laughs> well, that's the great thing in TV world. Everyone's going, I know, I know who I know, that is. I know who yeah. that is. When you write about a gay producer, there are so few of those in television. Oh, well, I have no idea find, who, that, who that could be. Yeah. Um, 
No, um, we were doing Britain's Got Talent there mm. just, just before the break, and uh, you have a particular interest in that this year. Oh, I have. Tobias Mead. Um, he got through to the final, thank God. He owes me a lot of money for those telephone calls. <laughs> um, he was a dancer on our last tour, the Nolans tour. And we were with him, you know, six, seven weeks rehearsal, and he was the real cheeky one, you know, full of character, and um, we used to have such a laugh. And he was always laughing at me when I was trying to be sexy, Ruth. Really. <laughs> start laughing. I don't, this is I my sexy him. face. I defect him. Don't laugh. And um, on our opening night, halfway through the show, he had this fantastic backflip he had to do off this pool table on the stage. And he broke his heel. Oh. oh. And was whisked off to hospital and was off the tour, you know. So we were absolutely devastated for him. So for him to do this now is yeah. just brilliant. He's such a lovely guy. Well, and well more he's important. done very well. More important health matters um, now. Bernie, who mm -hmm. we saw just a few weeks ago at the, uh, the Soap Awards, and that was before she started her chemotherapy yeah. at, at that stage. Mm. How is she getting on? Do you know what? I'm so proud of her because she's doing absolutely brilliant. I mean, her, her mental attitude is so strong to it. She's like, just bring it on, do whatever, get rid of anything you need to get rid of as long as the cancer goes with it, you know. Yeah. And, um, She's really responding really well to the treatment. She's taking it all in her stride, and she's still so positive. It's, it's fabulous. And, of course, she's got the help of Anne and Linda, my other yeah. two sisters, who, of course, have also gone through the same it's thing. It's you know, terrible to see your sisters go through mm. that now, Bernie, but also a huge worry for you it's terrifying. And, and daughters. In a, in a selfish way, yeah. it's terrifying for yourself, because you think, well, it's obviously, you know, a gene in the family. But, you know, we're being checked now all the time, and... You know, I'm, I'm so vigilant with it. Well, we had a bit of a scare, because I remember during the Dancing on Ice. During Dancing yeah. on Ice, yeah, I found yeah. a lump in my breast. And I went straight away, and, and luckily, you know, they did all the tests, and it was all benign. And every three months now I go yeah. and have a check. Well, we'll send her our best. Health, and yes, I know, please. you know, when she was on here, where so many people were emailing and checking how she was, so send her our best. Is there another book in you, or two or three? Do you know something? I was going to end this book with a proper ending, and then I thought, no. Because I've got right. more Karen ideas. I want, them to, I want them to carry on. Good luck on. with it. Good luck Brilliant. with Thank it. Uh, we've Thank got to end the chat.